Hello, dear traders. I'm Maria Stradop, and this is the review of Crypto Analytics from FX.co. It's the 14th of June, today, Wednesday, and now today's review. Uh, do Americans support uh, the introduction of a digital dollar and uh, will Bitcoin resume its upward movement after the May inflation report? And uh, we will start with an article by Jakub Novak and um, uh, first some news. Um, uh, this is the survey, the recent survey of uh, conducted by the Carter Institute and YouGov um, about the um, about the introduction of digital dollar and uh, do Americans support this idea and the survey revealed that most of Americans are not ready to embrace uh, a central bank digital currency. Um, it was uh, conducted in late May and um, <clears throat> over 2,126 individuals to participate in the survey and it consisted of three questions. The first asked if participants would support or oppose a state-issued uh, digital dollar that allowed the government to monitor all purchases and only 13% expressed full support with 68% uh, firmly opposing it. The second question asked whether respondents would support a uh, digital dollar that allowed the government to control their spending. In this scenario, only 10% fully backed the idea, while 74 of them firm, were firmly against. And the final question addressed their support for uh, CBDC designed to combat money laundering and fraud and 42% fully approved and only about 28 completely completely rejected the possibility of uh, reducing fraud with uh, this tool. So, uh, as we can see, most Americans are against this introduction. And now let's get to another article by Artem Petrenko and Bitcoin. And um, Bitcoin has been under the control of bears, updating local laws for the past two weeks. At one point, the price uh, reached 25,300, not far from the base of the up, uh, uptrend. Meanwhile, Bitcoin investors actively accumulated the cryptocurrency and the number of unique addresses in the network sharply increased in the last five days. Uh, simultaneously, we are approaching a week of macroeconomic news that, that can significantly affect the global economy. And crypto investors are closely monitoring macro data, so we can already expect the first price reactions of markets. Um, yesterday, already yesterday, the US inflation data was released, and the article was written right before that. And um, Investors anticipated a decrease in year-on-year -year inflation to 4.1% in May from 4.9% in April. And if uh, these forecasts are met, June can be called a turning point move in the crisis that began in 2022. If deflationary movement in May reaches minus 0.8%, it can be stated that with most, almost 100% certainty that there will be a pause uh, in interest rate hikes. This, in turn, will instill hope in the markets and trigger a local bullish trend that will also affect uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, since 2022, Bitcoin has shown a high level of dependence on CPI data and Fed policy opposing rate hikes and strong deflationary move <clears throat> could increase interest in high-risk assets, but that will happen in the medium term. In the short-term perspective, positive data on the inflation level 
<clears throat> in the US can trigger an impulsive price movement and the key target for bulls will be con to consolidate above 26,600 level and re return to the price range of 26,600-27,500 and subsequently this will help Bitcoin develop an upward movement towards 28,000. Um, if uh, we look at the technical analysis at the chart the 26,600 level is key target for bulls in, if uh, the upward impulse is properly executed. In addition to returning to the 26,600-27,500 range, an important reason for breaking through this level is the presence of a downward trend line that originates from the price peak in, at uh, 31,000 in mid-April. Therefore, uh, the upward movement and consolidation above 26,600 and further movement to 27,000 will change the medium-term trend to bullish. Um, meanwhile, technical indicators show increasing buying volumes, indicating positive market expectations. So making a conclusion, Artem says that the 26,600 level is a key target for bulls in the short-term perspective, and a successful breakthrough of this fresh hold will change the medium-term outlook in the crypto market and allow bulls to take the initiative. However, this uh, can happen uh, can only happen in the case of a strong deflationary movement. Okay, let's have a look at the chart of Bitcoin for the moment. It's 14th of June. Bitcoin opened today at the point 25,950. And if we look back to the yesterday, we can see that uh, increased volatility and right in the middle of the day when uh, the uh, inflation data was published, uh, it uh, reached uh, 26,176 and then after that it went down and um, returned to the same levels around 26,000. And now, at the moment of the publication, it is trading at the point 25,878. Well, this is all for today. Uh, we'll, we'll see each other again tomorrow in our next review. I wish you, as usual, profitable trading and successful day and uh, see you next time.